Hello, I'm Holly Proctor. I'm the publisher of Inside Singletree Magazine. Today I'm here with Andy Yodi, our exclusive video sponsor and a broker with Liv Sotheby's International Realty, and Olga Barron with Family Heirloom Photography. For those of you who are familiar with Inside Singletree Magazine, Olga's work graces the cover of the magazine every month, as well as uh, we see a lot of her work within the magazine as well. So we're super excited to learn a little bit more about your story, Olga. I know you immigrated from Russia at the age of 11, and today mm -hmm. you're a photographer in Vail, Colorado. So maybe you could help us fill in a few of the gaps <laughs> along the way. You are. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I did immigrate from the Soviet Union as it was back then, like a whole other lifetime ago. <laughs> And I was 11 years old and lived all over the East Coast and moved to Colorado uh, a month before 9-11. Wow. And as I was an economist in my past life, I worked right downtown in New York. So that was life altering. And a whole lot of other life happened after that until I met my husband in Beaver Creek, believe it or not, at a Kansas concert. I have a drumstick. <laughs> Uh, Not to offend Kansas, they, they sounded great. They didn't age so well. I think people were partying maybe <laughs> those years. But it was great, and it was one of those, people don't believe in it, but it was love at first sight, and we built a log home in the mountains together, and we've been really happy, but I just wanted a big change and uh, in terms of what I did uh, in my profession. And um, I've been a photographer most of my life as a passion project, as a hobby. And uh, everybody just pushed me saying, you know, when you travel or when you uh, take wildlife pictures, you end up taking so many photos of people. You're kind of drawn to taking pictures of oh. people. So I said to myself, well, I can make that part of it a business. And I retrained myself and I started my, my uh, family photography business. Actually, originally I did weddings as well. But again, when I was doing weddings, I noticed that I was always drawn to taking <laughs> pictures of all the kids. <laughs> and, I love it. You know, and not having had any of my own, I think I fulfill that need as a human being in other people's families and seeing how they come together. I so love that. So that's how that. I got to that. And uh, I've been doing it for a few years now. And um, I'm really happy with it. I mean, this is paradise. You have a natural backdrop all everywhere. I, I love that. That's passion with purpose and also with people, the three Ps. I love it, I love it. That, Thank you. It go, that is just a natural progression. Mm -hmm. And and that's what um, is usually the best when people find a career mm -hmm. and their passion together, mm -hmm. sure. and hence the beautiful work that you do. But what I would love to share with everyone is your niche that you do. I know you mentioned about the people, but talk about that a little yeah, bit more in depth. And, and well, I have a couple of pieces right here that pretty much explain what I do. And uh, what's important to me is to give people something beautiful to put on their wall. So families, you know, they can be any shape or size these days. It could be anything. Hey, it could be even be dogs and cats, right? <laughs> they're but people in their own way. They're, some pe <laughs> they're people too. Cats and dogs are people too. Just different species. That's <laughs> right. And, uh, you know, kids grow up and move away. Yeah. Our pets pass away. Yeah. And usually before we do, right? So you want to have that piece of art on your wall that immortalizes them, that fixes them in that time as they are today, whatever today is. Right. And so to me, at least with people who value that and all my clients do, um, they want to have that for eternity, in, in the, hence the heirloom. They want to be able to, you know, handed down to their kids and uh, and so for me it started with that like kids and you know your nuclear family mm -hmm. and then eventually it migrated into what is my my absolute specialty now is multi-generational family yeah and as you can as you can see, and see actually, right, right here is one it. of the generations in a larger portrait uh, for the sake of the video I didn't want to bring the one that's got the whole family <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this is one cluster and uh, you know, we try to make it very artistic. Um, yeah. One of my specialties is obviously Photoshop, where I can. It's not just about beauty, and, you know, making you look prettier, making you look like the best of yourself. It's it's also about putting all the right people in the right place. Like right. In this portrait, it's like a combination of three different ones. Well, not only that, mm -hmm. I just don't know if 
this can capture it on film, what I'm seeing, it's so amazing. I mean, it's sharp, it's a piece of art. It's just more than just the photography. Um, I, I just love it. I don't know if you can capture it. People are gonna have to call her and find out themselves, but uh, <laughs> literally this piece shows that. And then- That one's different. This piece is totally different, which is, Intriguing to me. It's okay. Yeah, I don't want that to. This is no, a no. piece of art. Catch. I'm a good catch. catch. So, I'm a good catch. <laughs> you are a good catch. So, talk a little bit about this because I noticed that right away when you put this up here, the difference between, between the, two. the two. Well, this is what uh, one of the um, more unique things that we make. This is type of portrait I call painterly. It can be any size group. But what it is, is it's originally the process is similar to this where we do a photo session and then, you know, I retouch whatever needs to be retouched. Retouch is a digital term for airbrushing, etc. Yeah. You know, embellishing things a little bit. And then what's unique about this portrait, I actually go to Photoshop and just like if you see an artist with a paintbrush and an oil and canvas, it's like 15 layers of paint. Like, yeah. it's, 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 I'm not gonna it get into it. It looks like a painting. But it's like a painting and then <laughs> it's printed on canvas. Yeah. And then, then we use um, a laminate brush strokes and I paint contours with it to give it even more three dimensional. Wow. Effect. And uh, you could still go it, by choice with a more rustic frame. We have all kinds of yeah, ways this to is a neat frame. Home. Yeah. Or you can go something much more ornate. Yeah. It, it, I have stuff for everybody's taste. We have things that look like they belong in Florida too. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's well, like, we've got a little bit of exactly, We have mountain modern, from, traditional, right, right. Exactly. and rustic. I but just those love I it. always sign. Yeah. Because that's a, there's no two alike. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it that really there is the, there's a difference in how these look and you can get a little bit of both yes. on here. So yep. to show what the process is, we're going to show everyone a little bit of an example of a portrait session mm -hmm. with myself and my daughter, which I'm so excited about. And uh, thank <laughs> you so much. So stay tuned here. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you, Olga, for showing us your work in action. That was My awesome. Pleasure. And most importantly, thank you, Andy and Jade, for participating. And yes. thank you, very Olga. Very willing participants and very enthusiastic. So we appreciate that. And we thank do, you. too. Thank you. So. Very, very awesome. I highly recommend having a session with you, Olga. Thank you You make so it much. feel very comfortable and natural. So thank you. Looking forward to the end result. Me, exactly. too. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Holly. Have a Thanks. great day. You, Bye. too.